this TA Tech Tip will guide you through the process of how to perform the torque and normal force calibrations for the Ares G2 rheometers. First, ensure that the Ares G2 is fully enabled, communicating with the TRIO software, and you have a complete calibration kit. The calibration kit includes a calibration fixture, which will be installed on the FRT transducer shaft, a pulley, string, tools, a 500 gram weight, a 1000 gram weight, some standard oil, and silicone putty. To start the calibration process, select the instrument ribbon in TRIOS, then choose Torque Normal Force Calibration. We will need to follow just a few basic steps in the calibration wizard to complete these calibrations. You can also find a detailed step-by-step -step explanation for these calibrations in the TRIOS help. Next, choose Torque Calibration. Install the calibration fixture on the transducer shaft, then install the pulley in the correct position, tighten it with a set screw, and then zero the axial force signal using the LCD touchscreen. Now, zero the torque transducer. Install the string with the loop at the end to the calibration fixture, then hang the string over the pulley and attach the 500 gram weight to the other end of the string with a loop as well. Choose measure from the calibration window. After the measurement is complete, then choose apply the new calibration factors. Remove the weight and pulley system. You have completed the torque calibration. To perform the normal force calibration, choose normal force in the calibration window. With the calibration fixture still on the transducer shaft, choose zero and wait for the zero step to complete. Hang the 1000 gram weight directly on the calibration fixture. Settle the weight to minimize any swinging. Next, choose measure from the calibration window. After the measurement is complete, then apply the new calibration factors. Lastly, remove the weight and the calibration fixture. You have completed the normal force calibration.